Hello, once again. It is the Ash Heritor, and we're continuing right where we left off with our Manichaean campaign in Crusader Kings 3. I, uh, I know I always ask for this at the end of the episode, which means that most people probably don't hear it, but, uh, and it, it always feels kind of bad asking for it, but, uh, you know, the YouTube algorithm is the word of law around here in these parts, so I, I do ask if, if you are enjoying this content, please, uh, please do give it a like and subscribe. It actually helps a lot. Um, to the people that have, thank you very, very much. I just wanted to say that. Now, let's, uh, let's quit faffing about and get on to business. So, uh, we, we did some conquering last episode. Some, some good old conquering. The only problem is, is that this territory that we took, we're probably going to lose with our succession. Because we have two sons, which is always annoying. And because we have this confederate partition, which creates new titles that can be created... On succession, it's going to in mean that my other son is going to get the kingdom of uh, Kashmir down here. Which means that all of this territory is going to be lost. And I want to just make sure that it's just the kingdom of Kashmir. Alright? The Mars Penet of Alai and Kashmira. Alright. We're, we're literally going to lose this whole chunk down here. Right? Right? Yeah. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Um, now there's ways around this One of them is disinheriting Which costs renown Which is very rough Because renown is super slow to get And it's something that affects your dynasty permanently So you are kind of weakening yourself Later down the line Every time you have to do this um, The other way Is changing your succession laws Which I cannot do And we're still quite a ways from being able to do so, yeah. There's not really much I can do about it, I feel. I feel we're just going to have to resolve ourselves to losing some parts of the realm as this goes, which is a damn shame. It's a damn shame, but at least we're not going to lose anything up here. Um, and we're going to have an ally down here. So, yeah. We're just going to have to work with that and see what happens. So... As it stands, conquering further down south isn't going to be of much benefit at the moment. Because we are just going to end up losing a whole lot of that territory. As soon as my current leader dies. Uh, yeah, we'll ransom him. It's fine. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty annoying. We have titles? Of, yeah, we can grant all kinds of titles, but I don't feel like it. So we have we have Kashmir right here. Uh, what else could I do? Like what if what if I actually gave up the title of Kashmir to somebody else? Would that would that solve it? I honestly don't know. So like what if I made Denpo here? See, he is he is capable and he's married yeah, you know what? We're gonna do this. And I don't know if this is gonna work. But if we give him these lands, will that break this succession? It will. I'm still... Yeah. I'm still losing the... Uh... I would still lose Kitral. I would only lose one title on succession. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, that's not as bad, but he would become the king of Kashmir. Now, I have to be careful that this guy doesn't form the kingdom of Kashmir. Because that would, by default, make him independent. Um, but we'll just have to see. I mean, either way, I would then lose the realm, so it's not like a huge loss. Uh, and either way, it's going to be locked into my family, because he is the leader in a matrilineal marriage with my daughter. So either way, if if he forms the kingdom of Kashmir and we lose this realm, it wouldn't change much from how it was before. Um, it'll just potentially make it into a smaller bite-sized chunk that I could then assume control of um, in another way. All right, stewardship challenge. 
Uh, I do not th need things to legitimize my rule. Yeah. Yeah, things are... Things are of this world, and this world is a, uh, a trial that we must get through in order to reach the great beyond, after all. All right, uh, my son here is a ruling, he's managing his own little uh, duchy, uh, the satrapy, actually. D does he have the satrapy? I think he has the satrapy. Yeah, he does. Victory. Nice, we won. And I gain some stuff for assisting. Not much, but hey, it's something. All right, today Artuk accidentally took the wrong medicine. It seems he confused two different concoctions he was supposed to take at different times and with different doses. One can only hope there are no significant side effects to this. Well, mate, that does seem unpleasant. Maybe be more careful. He's a good blade master. I hope he lives. He's a very good blade, blade master. All right. Neighboring ruler has lost a war. Okay, that's fine. Overslept. Really? Lose some prestige because I slept in. That explains why I have no prestige in real life. Um, demand payment. Four out of ten. Eh, whatever. Sure. First in line to inherit the satrapy of Casimira. Yeah, I know. That's because I gave it to him. And they don't have children yet. Will they get children? Probably. Um, question is, does does she like her husband? She does. They're, they're, they get along very well. That's good. I'm glad I arranged them a good marriage. All right. Empty counselor position. Who died? I don't know. Oh, it's him. All right. We, we put him in as our counselor again. And all will be fine. No, I'm not recruiting you to my court. You're going to die in, like, a week. All right. Task finished. We have promoted the culture in Karashar. It's good. Social manipulation. First time it happened, I... Oh, no. This, this again. You shall have tasks that will be impossible to complete. Yes. Give him impossible tasks. Social manipulation. Yes, he will think twice about challenging me again. Hmm. I can demand a payment. Yes, extort the people. <laughs> extort everyone. All right, then we're going to build up some uh, new holdings. So I want to build like a city holding here, and then a temple holding, and then some more castle holdings that we can give out give out to people uh, to make our little uh, corridor here up north of the Taklamakan Desert into a good, uh, hey, a good Manichaean. I am known as a deeply pious man. Let's not shout my dedication from the towers, though prestige would be nice. Um, or we can extort the temple. Or we can gain pious leash. That sounds boring. Let's extort the temple for money. <laughs> no, my counselors, again. Stop dying, please. You have one job. That is not dying. And, and your other jobs. Do um, you have any other territories that are directly within our control that we need to convert? No. Let's just gather taxes. Um, oh, you need to be potentially converting some territory religiously. We do need Manichaeanism to spread, after all. Uh, as for what's down here, they can sort out their own business. Gotta make sure everybody, all of my leaders are Manichaean, which they are. Uh, you're not. But I already tried to convert him and it didn't work. So... Yeah, whatever. He's... Nangchos. Nangchos. What? This is a type of Buddhism, right? Yeah. I know very little about Buddhism. Unfortunately. Anyways. Uh... Where do we go from now? For now. Um... It does seem that we've at least partially solved this problem. I don't know exactly what's going to happen uh, with the succession now, whether I'm going to, like, lose this land anyways. <sighs> Title's lost on succession. Like, is it saying anything? Um, it doesn't say that I'm, like, going to lose any land. That it's just that he's going to gain the Kingdom of Kashmir, which will that 
put these vassals under his control. All titles held by the late ruler will, will be divided amongst their el eligible children, with the player heir always receiving the primary title, realm capital, and any direct de jure titles associated with it. Okay, so that is all the stuff around here. Um, younger children will be given titles starting with those of the same rank as the primary title. If none are available, they will be given lower rank titles. Your player heir can not be preemptively granted titles they do not stand to inherit. Younger children will have titles created for them if enough land is held. It doesn't say that the vassals are transferred, though. Which is my hope. In which case, that would make him the king of Kashmir, but would leave him only with Kitral, because that's his only title that he has right now. Right? I don't know. I don't know. Succession is confusing. I mean, I guess it probably was confusing in real life. But it's also confusing in game, which is unfortunate. Um, right, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Let's build some military camps. Alright. So we could expand. The question is, where? And how to expand without, like coming into this problem yet again. We really need to change the succession law. So I may consolidate until we're able to change succession laws. New lifestyle perk. Excellent. Let's go down adaptive traditions. We're not doing foreign affairs right now because we're trying to integrate. Are we still trying to integrate titles? Yeah, we are still trying to integrate titles. Which one? I don't remember. What are you doing? The Mars Pendant of Yassin. That is... Here? No, that's Kashgar. Here! Yeah, you're trying to integrate that into the de jure... De jure, sorry. Saying it wrong. Yeah, and you, you keep doing that. He needs to restore control. Do I have a better marshal? Not really. Uh, what's my knight situation? Uh, I can use five. Well, let's recruit this guy. And what's what's your age? Uh, you're you are Matridi, which we can't have. Um, yeah, we could invite more Aswaran, but at this point, at this point, I don't really need it. No, I can't invite more Aswaran anyways. I could go on a pilgrimage, but I also don't really feel like I need that. I'm getting old, I'm getting kind of old. How's my stress situation? It's perfectly fine. No reason to uh, do any of that. Open religious conversion menu. Yeah, I don't understand how that works. It doesn't seem to do anything most of the time. All right, uh, no. Empty council position. What now? Who? Oh my god. Come on, guys. Stop dying. Marzaban Tugor of Kumkol. You're a friend, aren't you? Yeah, you are my friend. I'm gonna... I guess I'll make you my master of horse and high almoner. Yeah, I still don't have a high almoner, but I don't want to recruit her to my court because she's super old. That would just be a waste of money. Titles can be created. The Duchy of Kashgar and the Duchy of Karashar. Interesting. Uh, I will create both. Let's see. Uh, as their shah, my vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law. But how much is obedience without devotion worth? In times of crisis, a slow response or a half-hearted effort can lead to a disaster. Can I afford such a risk? Queen Manue of Jianjing. What? I have more important women to... Wait, 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 wait. Of Jianjing? Yeah, yeah, let's impress her. For sure. In fact, let's try and befriend her. Now that we're at it. I could seduce her. <laughs> that would be entertaining. But uh, let's, yeah, let's befriend her. It's interesting. Are they both ruled by queens? They are. Huh. Don't see that too often. But yeah, let's 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 make them uh, get them as friendly as possible. I have no desire to go to war with any of them. I can't propose an alliance just yet. Though that being said, one of your daughters 
that one is married, or will be married, to my grandson. Which should help with the whole alliance thing. And in fact, what about what about this business? I don't have any or do I? Do I? Maybe I do. Maybe I've got some granddaughters that I could potentially marry off around here. Not really. Okay. Suppose not. What about you? You're a daughter. I could marry you to one of my grandsons. No? I guess are you the heir? No, you're not the heir. You just don't want to. Okay. That's fair. What about Mariul? Hmm. Yeah, you won't you won't do that, will you? This would be very interesting if I were to somehow able to get this to work. Uh I mean, this would be with a matrilineal marriage, which I wouldn't want to do. No. I could invade Mariul, but then I would have this kingdom title. That would then be lost on succession. I mean, honestly, I kind of want to expand into the Samanids. At some point. Right now, are they superior to us? I'm not actually declaring one. No, they're inferior to us. That's interesting. Not by much, though. Actually, no, by quite a bit. That is very interesting. This means I could persecute a war against them, and potentially win. But let's build up more infrastructure. Once again, I am not going to expand until... Like, I don't want to expand now, because he's so old. Uh, yeah, we'll do that for some extra prestige, I guess. How are we doing? 13 months until we have our city? But I can then grant to a lesser noble. Or I could potentially grant to, I don't know, some somebody in my court. Um, right? Anybody here? I don't know. Then we're going to build a uh, temple. As soon as we have the money, I think we actually have the money. Let's build it. Build ourselves a temple. We got a temple and a city. From there, we can build more castles, which we can then keep as our own direct holdings. Because these we have to lease out, or we have to give our city to somebody because it's not the correct holding type. We can only hold castles. One day, we'll probably get a uh, Republic DLC, which will allow us to hold cities instead. My rival, Durlaba, has died. Good. I, re I actually do remember her. She was a bit of a pain. She tried to sour my relations with Gigi, among other things. Um, but now she's dead. And I will not weep. You're alone. You have no allies. What? You're part of the Duchy of Guangzhou? At the same time, I don't really have any aspirations of taking Guangzhou. Guangzhou, sorry. Uh, greetings, my sensible liege. I've come to discover a most appalling truth about Satrap Pulad. Who's Satrap Pulad? Eh. Interesting. Your concern is deeply appreciated. You, what's the what's the secret here? Uh, oh, you attempted murder. I'm gonna blackmail him. Now I have a hook. Excellent. And we can use this to modify the feudal contract. Oh, to extortionate taxes. Use hook. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, this is good. This is good. Sweet. <laughs> Get more money out of them. Squeeze them. Oh, we can increase this that way in case he causes problems for my son. We can always decrease it back to a more reasonable level. Uh, the Han are good people. Yeah. Yeah, let's say that. We don't need the prestige right now. And, uh, we can compliment the Han. They have formed some of the most powerful empires in the world, after all. But hey, we are, we're socked in. We're doing, we're doing all well, we're doing all right for ourselves. We've expanded significantly. Alright, yeah, these are all the different cultures. 
currently going around. What's the religious situation? Manichaeanism making its mark on the map, which is uh, it's always good to see. That's our first holy site. Or maybe this is our first holy site. That's actually really close by. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Like their military strength is inferior. But I'm going to do that uh, with my next ruler. When uh, Tolun takes power, he's going to need a, uh, a strong opening push, right? Flexible truces, that's good. We can end truces quicker. And, um, yeah, Salmonids, yeah, they're building up numbers. They're not going to remain weaker than us for very long, but at the same time, I'm not invading. We did our invasions already. Right now we're waiting to see what's going to happen with the succession. We're getting quite old. Yeah, we're in poor health. Um, we've got we've got more money. How's the uh, city coming along? It's got 14 months left. Oh no, the city's the city's in place. All right, and it's already been okay. It gets automatically given out. Um, what we can also do is upgrade castles, which is something I shouldn't be forgetting to do. Uh, though that is more expensive, and we do not have battlements, so never mind. We cannot upgrade castles just yet. We can still upgrade some of the the little uh, thingies here in the castles. You like that terminology? Very, uh, very specific. The uh, the thingies. All right, no, we're gonna expand our citrus empire because that was the ultimate goal of our campaign. Um, we build citruses in Kashgar. I know it's technically not my territory, but we can help our. Uh, we can help our son out. It's going to be our territory anyways. So we may as well start building it up. Um, yeah. Sure, we'll build that there. Build him some, uh, some orchards. Alright. Out of money, but we'll get more money as it goes. I am dead! Well then. So it begins. Now I play as Shatolun, and we're going to find out what exactly happened here. Ah, yeah. Kashmir has uh, seceded from my realm in its entirety. That is unfortunate. There's no way to... I could claim the title. How would I do that? I already... How? What? You already claim... You already have a claim on this title. Yeah. Okay, but I want to gain control of the title, please. All right, we're going to go down diplomacy. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Okay. Could I I could reset the perks for 85 stress. It's a lot. Yeah, no. We'll, we'll we'll keep there. Uh there's some there's some good stuff in there, but we will um cuz we are just like a the Ultra Diplomat. We'll continue going down Diplomacy, and I want to get the uh, Majesty focus so that we can get some more Prestige. He's already... he starts off with pretty solid Prestige. Um, what are my children? Alright, I have two sons. That's annoying. I'm gonna have to deal with that. Um, you are already betrothed to the Princess of... Uh, to a Princess of Giyi, I should say. And you are... yeah, this is my king. We need to, we need to adjust what he looks like. Never mind. Uh, that's going to be difficult. I don't feel like figuring out how that works right now, so we're going to ignore that. Um, so right now my uh, the uh, interface is hidden because I was using that to take screenshot studies for my thumbnails, which is mostly what I use that mod for. All right, I'm in line to inherit titles. Yeah, third in line to inherit the Shadam of Kashmir, and third in line to inherit the Marspanet of Kitral. Okay. I don't want to inherit either of those. I just want to claim the title. And I... So, let's let's work on our council here. All right. Uh, I'm going to put you as my steward. Yes. Mars Van Tugor will be my chancellor. Wonderful. Uh, you're a satrap. You technically have less skill, but you are a satrap. So, I'm going to make you my marshal. And... We've got a Marzban here that wants to be on our council, who we are going to have be our 
um, dude that does the things. Yeah. Um, all right, Master of Horse. Okay, I will make him my Master of Horse. Cup bearer. Anybody good here? All right. Uh, I could make a vassal into my cup bearer, but at the same time, the vassal of Kotan. Kotan has just been nonstop problems. Like, your mother was a pain in my backside. You're also being a little bit annoying. Satrap uh, Tsangpo. Let's just make this random lady my cup bearer and a tax collector. Yeah, let's make him our. our her, our tax collector. Uh, she was wearing a helmet. Very tricky. Alright, and uh, we now have a courtier that we can actually make into our high almoner. Great. We still have a court dwarf. We still have all this stuff that we need. Uh, any culture that needs converting? Not really. Awesome. We've got that sorted. We are still over... So we have one title too many. And I do want to keep Kashgar may mean I have to give up. Hold on. Did we already get our temple holding? Is that the problem here? Hmm. Or do we have to give up one of our uh, little titles here? Oh, why is this not working? The Duchy of Karashar is not held by me. Why the hell isn't it held by me? It's not created. Are you kidding me? Where, where did the Duchy of Karashar go? <laughs> I started with this, didn't I? <laughs> or did something did something happen? Alright, uh, Tolun is going to keep him patient? No, I do not want him. I'd rather have him be shy. Right? We're going to switch him to diplomacy. I am educating him, I assume. And uh, I guess I'm going to educate my uh, other son as well. Oh, who's the guardian? Who is your guardian? I, I, I don't know. Uh, children? Relationships? Yeah, my wards. Alright, both my sons. Great. Uh, you are going to go into... Actually, why don't you go into... No, you're not going to go into learning? Alright, so he's aiming more towards Marshall. Alright, we'll make him Marshall. It's fine. Um, what's our succession? Are we going to lose territory? No. Okay. We really need to figure out what to do with this title. No. Why am I not able to do this? Shadam of Kashmir. I could do that. You have a pressed claim on the Shadam of Kashmir. Yeah, but I don't want to go to war for it. He's severely injured. And he's a flagellant. That's probably why he's severely injured. Man, where did you go wrong? I mean, that's a pretty, uh, pretty capable son. What are what are my sons genius? No, neither of them are, which is unfortunate. But well, it is what it is. Do I have any ways to? I could kill myself. <laughs> Let's not do that. I've got the maximum amount of knights. Yeah, I've got the uh, maximum amount of men at arms. I still can increase the size of some of these retinues, but I don't really want to. Um, yeah, yeah. Ah, my brother died. Wonderful. Can we do it now? No, I still can't do it now. Yeah, don't feel good about this. My first course of action is to go to war with my little nephew. But hey, it has to be done. I'm reclaiming this land one way or another. He can keep the damn land. That, that's fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take that from him. Uh, we're just gonna have to take the kingdom title, <laughs> and then somehow figure out a way how to deal with it. Um, because we need to not have any more sons. And they may be forced to disinherit one. Yeah, I know. 
Okay. Yep. This is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. <laughs> that our first course of action is war against fellow family. But hey, it's a medieval succession crisis. This is what happens. Alright, they don't have much of an army, so I'm going to immediately detach a uh, force here to besiege, and then have my second force uh, go in there, and actually, yeah, uh, we'll just let this go. Uh, faction targeting me has disbanded, we get more money from taxes, great. Uh, we need to build the uh, the actual duchy here, because for some reason that dissolved, which is uh, annoying. We need 250 gold, which we're not going to get immediately. Uh, your silver tongue is shining today. Somebody likes me more. The lower title, it doesn't really matter. Ah, I'm leading the battle. Well then, um, what is my martial skill? Hold on, just a second. What are my chances? Well, I won't die. I guess we'll, we'll fight here. You have to let your guard down. Uh, no, we're gonna try and be... Ah, I was defeated, of course. I've been injured. <laughs> I should not be fighting. Let's do something about that. Ah, come on. Yep, look at that. Um, I changed knight strategy to support. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, changing my weapon to something a bit more supportive as well. We do not have a court physician. We should get one. This way I should not be... Okay. Apparently Murat is quite experienced. He is quite experienced. Wonderful. Hire him. Um, he's all already Manichaean. Great. Uh, we should get him a marriage. With someone. Let's find him a spouse instead. All right. Get somebody good into the court. All right. What about? What about you? You're all right. Join my court. Convert to Manichaeanism. Very good. Very good. All right. We have a physician. I can get treated now, which is good. Let's click the right thing, please. Yes. Uh, attempt to heal wounds. Yeah. Use uh, the best treatment available. I am the Shah. I am important. Let's not get infected by anything. That would be uh, a shame if we died to infection. Okay, let's uh, take this uh, castle while we're at it as well. And we're going to take Kitral soon. Actually, not very soon. S slow, uh, slow siege. Nice. I'm all patched up. And we have completed our shrine. Which should automatically pass to a temple. Yes. To a matriarch. And this matriarch has decent stats. Nice. She is already our person for the job. All right. We've got some prisoners. Anybody? Uh, hey, Kayal, huh? Yeah, we'll ransom you. It's good money. And we get another Diplomacy Lifestyle perk. I guess we go down Patriarch. Might as well get it, since we're already here. So this gives... Fertility, Close Family Opinion, House Opinion, Stress Loss, 20%. Alright. The thing is... Uh, I think it, I'm gonna get a lot of stress. If I reset my... Though having the befriend scheme already is nice. In fact, I should be making use of it. We're gonna try... We'll, we'll try and sway her first. And we can try and befriend her. Keep our, uh, keep our east placated and happy. And we shouldn't have too many problems. Alright, we've taken that. So we will move to Gilgit with this army. Leapfrog over the second one. All right, we got some money from ransoming. We're winning the war. What's going on here? Who's fighting who? Enthusiastic conversions. Good, good. 
Alright, um, yeah, this one has my catapults, so that's why it's besieging things so much faster. Need to get more of those. Alright. How's the war going? Household savings. Very nice. Very good. Okay, about to take this. Wonderful. Uh, I want to hold on this territory. Because I don't trust this, whatever this is. Army of Paragar. Who, who are you guys? Oh boy. The Ramitan Satrapy is attacking. Ah. Yeah, no, we, we don't want you to do that. I do not want you taking land that is going to belong to us. So right now, yeah, this is what I feared was going to happen, was that the Samanids were going to, like, attack my newly independent brother. So this is why I need to conquer him first. Because they're going to be far less likely to attack me. Because I am more powerful. Alright, my prisoner has died in my dungeons. That's crying shame. Uh, we'll ransom you. We'll ransom you for 50 gold. That's, that's good money. Besides, it's my nephew. I'm not going to kill him. Uh, this is distasteful stuff. Taking my own family prisoner. But when has a little bit of familial infighting ever killed anybody? Alright, I'll be taking your land. Thank you. The title is now mine. Alright, now we're at war with the satrapy of Pamir, huh? Alright, take the capital there. Then you guys deal with these little interlopers. Look, you might want to back out of this war while you can, because I will not be merciful. Alright? Ransom them. Ransom everyone. You should receive what you ask. Uh, my Shah, you are currently in possession of something, some place that should be mine. My dishonest spy master, Marzban Pacquiao, has come before me, insisting that I should grant him the Marzbanet of Kashgar. Uh, no. Screw you. You get nothing. Kashgar is mine. <laughs> Um, who are these guys? Uh, you're an experienced diplomat. You're not mad experienced, mate. You're okay, but I have better. Um, oh yeah, I have my wife. Uh, she is going to help me with things. Um, she could help manage my domain, or she could help me with chivalry. Why doesn't she help me with that? She's very martially minded. Okay. Any decisions? Alright, such a pleasant woman. Great, we're making friends with uh, the Queen of Xinjiang, maybe? Am I pronouncing that right? Probably not. I just assume I'm not pronouncing anything right that isn't uh, American, because... Or, or, or Dutch, because I can also speak Dutch. <laughs> I say American, uh, as though that's different from English, which re really, you know... It is at this point. <laughs> Let's be real here. But we won't talk about that. Um, yeah, ransom everybody. Ah, my wife is pregnant again. Please don't be a son. Please be a daughter. I do not want to lose this kingdom again and have to do the same damn thing. In order to reclaim it. Manichaean Exaltation! Wonderful! Oh shit! That's... That's fine, actually. Alright, uh, good, good. Become temperate. Can't go wrong with that. Hurry up and take this damn castle. Guys, just quit. You gain nothing from this. You better win. Alright, Aswar was slain. Darn. Ah, uh, another one. No, okay, that's good. Satrap Pulad. Our Aswar killed a dude. Great. Oh, man. Lots of council members dying in battle. <laughs> Unbelievable. Alright, well, I got my uh, brother-in-law now. He can be my... Uh... Oh, this is good. He was uh... he was the super chancellor. 
that I had that was unfortunately given away when uh, the title exchanged hands. Alright, I'm reassigning my Master of Horse there, and I'm going to give my Master of Horse to... Uh, I guess the next one down the line. We just don't have a great martially inclined court here. Man, how long does this war need to go? We're, we're fighting one satrapy. Don't like it. Alright, we also need to work on our knights here. To make sure that that doesn't happen again. So, like, for example, I don't want our spy master fighting. I also don't want our steward fighting, but it looks like he isn't fighting. So, alright, good. I could turn off counselors being allowed to fight, but at the same time, like, I would like our marshal to fight. Um, and that type of stuff, because they are reasonably skilled. Not the best fighters in the world, but they're okay. Ah, and we have, uh, we've got this territory here. Why don't we, uh, why don't we start besieging that? While we're at it, empty council position, yes, I know. No, are you kidding me? Why do you keep popping back up? There's no empty councillor position, go away. Barony, yeah, I know, I'm two holdings over, uh, which is a problem, I, I understand. Uh, it may be that we have to give these to lower nobles. Grant this to baronies. I could make knights into barons. Like, what about you? You have no title. If I grant you a barony. Eh? Can I do that? I can. Fantastic. But I don't like you. All that much. Let me just look in my court. Uh, let me look at my other knights. That's actually what I wanted to do. Um, definitely not to a set trap. What about to you? Craven. Generous. That'll be helpful. Sure. Why don't you, uh, why don't you take one of the, uh, the Args here? There you go. Congrats. You're still a, a knight, right? Good. Right. And, um, Arstic? Nah. You? Nah. They've gotta be, they've gotta be capable. Right? And I've no one really on my council right now that... Ah, so like, uh, you're a Marzoban, though. You're my marshal? But my marshal has no title, so I'm going to grant him one. All right, you are going to take the Arg, and you should get married. Yeah, but you're, uh... We're going to have to convert you. That's fine. I'm pretty sure you'll accept. Uh, but you want to... No. Not for a hook. Are you kidding me? I give you a title and you don't even convert? Okay. We've, uh... Captured some people again. Sure. Increase their stats. I've been overwhelmed by stress. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to remove stress, which is a problem. Once again, I lose my marshal. Let's put him back. Get back to re trying to regain control. Um, I could gain reclusive. Gold and silver will buy me love. Hell no, that's a lot of money. That would be just gone. Yeah, we'll, we'll become reclusive. That's fine. It's one of the better stress-reducing traits out there, in my opinion. It doesn't come with super huge drawbacks. Definitely some drawbacks, but nothing too major. All right, we won this war. Let's be done with this silly exchange of violence. Disband the armies. We have claimed victory. All right, so one thing I need to worry about is I will lose this again when I die. Oh my god, another sun. You are genius, though. Alright. Uh, okay, it is my hope. Yeah, sure. Ransom everyone, that's fine. Fine with getting rid of everyone in my prisons at the moment. Fantastic. You? Yeah, just convert and get out. No? What about you? Who are you? Whatever, just get out of here. Not so concerned with dealing with all these people. Just get out of my get out of my prisons. Quit clogging up my jail cells. <laughs> okay. Well, we have uh, reestablished order over the realm. So I've got a couple of options. One is I form an empire, in which case losing kingdom titles isn't a super big issue. Yeah. 
Or I have to denounce two sons, which is going to cost a lot of legacy, which I don't want to do. Or I just have to deal with this again and do it as soon as we... The, uh, our next character ascends to the throne. They're currently their superior to us. The, uh, the summonids, which is very unfortunate. Uh, what is our military might right now? Not, not super big. Yeah, we are quite a bit smaller than we used to be. Which I'm not a fan of. But, we can now create the duchy again. Great. Wonderful. This should be working now, right? Okay, we'll be re-enabled next month. Fantastic. And the Duchy of Kashgar. I think we also need to create again for reasons that I don't understand. Is this also because of this god-awful succession law that we have? Really, we need to do something about this. Um, I am the cultural head. We are going down royal prerogative. It should give us higher crown authority. And I would like to get partition. Am I currently... Do I currently own two kingdom titles? I do. A claim on Kasmira. For months, Da Ngapo has been... Okay. Uh, oh, really? Yeah? Gotum of Astora? Sorry, Astore. However you pronounce it. I'm sure unrelated to Astora. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, but we've got our duchy building working again, and we can actually build a duchy building here, which we definitely should, because we own it. But we need to actually create this title first, and we will. Nice. We can get a diplomacy lifestyle perk. I do really want to, like, switch my perks over, but I'm so stressed out right now. I will seclude myself, lose a bit of stress, but it's not enough to justify it. Um... Offer vassalization acceptance, okay. Yeah, no. We're gonna go down thoughtful again. We're gonna keep being diplomats. Our line is very diplomatic. It's interesting how we started off as, like, a uh, more spiritual-focused character, then proceeded on to a more economic-focused character, and then finally uh, we have now the two diplomatic-focused characters. I would like to make him my heir, if I could, but I don't know if that's gonna be possible. You do not have a spouse. No. None of this is useful. Hunchback. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> no thanks. Alright, um... Yeah. Okay, we have, we, have, we have this territory here. So there's also the holy sites that we need to consider. Uh, so there is this, uh, this Rajputana, which I think possesses one of the holy sites that we need right now. Um, where is it? Let us look. Let us look and see. Yeah, so we have a holy site right up there. So I could, I could attack them. But what's my military situation? No. Oh. No, that's not going to go well for us. We need to consolidate. Right now, I do not have the military power that my father had. Neighboring ruler has lost a war. Okay, Gugay has lost a war to... Um, Doti. <laughs> right. And there's, of course, there's still Maruyul right down here to the south. You're still unmarried. This is interesting. Like, what if you were to marry my son? You almost accept. That's crazy. Really? What's it gonna take? It's a lot of money. Oh. 
hole. Do it. This will be strong. Yeah. Then we need to get rid of... Okay, it's just born. Who's the father? Consort. Ah, okay, she doesn't... Interesting. She has two consorts, but not a... Uh... Uh, husband. Right. Right, so this is part of the yeah, Tibetan cultural group, which I guess allows um, female characters to have multiple not spouses, but um, allow female characters to have consorts, which is in line with how that went in history as well, which is interesting. It's cool that that's in game. Right. Um, all right. That uh, does kind of hamper my plan, but anyways, we have an alliance, or we will have an alliance with. Uh, we do have an alliance with Mariul, which is very nice, because that means our, our south is covered, or at least that part of our south is covered. I don't really have any aspirations of invading Tibet either, um, but the Samanids, Samanids here are the problem. Um, my Arkasiar's claims, huh? Yeah, they're still superior to us. But what if we murdered their king? Would they still be superior to us? Certainly the king wouldn't be superior to us, because he would be dead. Mm, doesn't seem likely. Doesn't seem likely at all. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. We're going to end the episode here fairly soon. This one will be a little bit shorter. Because uh, I am technically recording both this one and the previous one on the same day, right back to back. So that I have some to work with uh, over the next couple of days, during which I will not be able to record. Because my girlfriend will be studying for exams. Um, which, is, which is fair. Alright. If we can build a duchy building here, uh, I want to quickly look and see what I want to build here, because this is directly under my control, so I will benefit from this myself. So a local parliament would be nice, and I can build that. Can I build a library? I do not have manorialism, so I cannot build a library. I have been called to war uh, against a whole lot of people. Carpoyul and... okay, it's a liberty war, so it's against internal... Uh, It's against internal factions. All right, we're gonna we're gonna help her out. I mean, we're right here. I, I don't have the excuse of it's oh it's so far away. We'll never reach you. No, no, they're 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 right here. Uh, let's build a rally point here in Kotan. All right. Summon the legions. Um. Who the hell is fighting who here? I mean, that, that, that's only a benefit to me, so I'm not complaining. Okay, I don't want both of my armies, actually, to... Uh... Oh, man. Okay, you go to there. Yeah, this is this looks like an absolute... Uh... What do we call it? A fuster cluck? Yep. But, uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on there, guys. Take the capital. Don't worry about this little... Actually, let's... Sorry, we're, we're jumping around a lot, but... We have an opportunity to take out this army, actually. Sorry, we're jumping around even more. But, uh, one thing at a time. All right, we can probably split this force... Have this go for the capital, while I deal with this little army right here. Oh, they're running. Okay. Never mind. We go for... We go here. How are we doing? Uh, we can not win that. We're losing. That's a problem. How did we lose that? This is unfortunate. Okay. Are we going to be able to catch them? 
Oh man, I can't, I can't deal with this stress. Uh, we gotta take... Fellow vassal opinion and independent ruler opinion would be great. We've gotta break these armies. We lost one battle, which is unfortunate. Alright, we've, we've caught them. I am, I am leading this force myself, apparently. Why? I mean a support role. God damn it. What's my chances of winning? Not super high. Uh, you know what? Here's a kick to the gut that'll make me lose some stress. This will make me gain some prestige. Yeah, let's do that. Let's gain prestige. To the floor with you! Single combat. I lost again. I'm a terrible fighter. Alright, attempt to heal wounds. Why am I... I? I switched all of this. What's the problem here? That's annoying. I, I'm very certain I switched... <laughs> what my role was in combat. That, that cost me another injury. Alright. We've defeated that little force. This is an absolute disaster, this war. Look at this. Just utter chaos. We've got armies down here. I don't even know who these people... Like, who, who's fighting who here? Who are you guys? The Duchy of Abatiu. That's, I guess, another internal enemy. So there's like multiple internal enemies fighting. Actually, I have no idea if that's an internal enemy. It quite possibly is not. It seems, actually, it's probably more likely to be an external enemy. But, uh, we're not invading there, okay. What's going on? We are moving for their capital. We've got to be very vigilant for this army. Never back down from a challenge. Yeah, keep the trait brave, absolutely. Okay, we, we are winning now, though, so that's something. And we've got this little force who can uh, sweep into here, I guess. Take this little uh, territory. Yeah, so it's just this little block that's fighting us right now. So let's amass all of our forces together. It's mid-July. We should be able to stand that without too much attrition, and that'll get our ten onagers. All right, enemies are leaving the war. Great. We should win this quickly enough. Yeah, I know I'm above my holding limit. I I don't know what to do about it. I'll be honest. So I don't want to give up any of the territory. So I control Aksu, Kucha, Lunta, Karashar, Toksun. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where's the seventh? Let me look at that. Kashkar, Kashkar, Karashar, Kucha, Aksu, Luntai, Toksun. And what the hell is... Is my primary title count? Is that what's going on here? Because I should only have six direct titles. I don't know. And my Chancellor's gone. Of course he is. Alright. Back to integrating this goddamn title. It's taken so long. <laughs> and we have expiring alliances with Bungza of Nagormo. Okay, fine. We win. Fantastic. Disband our armies. Ooh. Okay, I need to sort out this, uh, this stuff with the title here. Your, your satrap. What is... So this is technically the Duchy of Kabulistan. Okay, I'm, I can't do anything with Kabulistan right now. Um, ah, this is the problem. We need to grant this to a low noble, and we will. Alright. Now our holding is good. We're earning a ton more money. I assume that's going to affect our amount of soldiers and men-at-arms as well. Okay. This is better. Yeah, so this does mean we um, now lose these two uh, direct castle holdings. But at the same time, it's all fine. These barony holdings are uh, giving us a decent amount of income anyways. So it's okay. Uh, so now we got to build a duchy building here in Kashgar. 
And so, no, that's not what I wanted. All right, we want to we want to do this. All right, a reading in Cairo Shark, great. All right, no effects. Can I just look at the thing, please? Uh, I would like something that just gives good straight up money. Statue of a horse would be good. <laughs> no, okay. You require the lunatic trait as one of the uh, potential requirements for it. Um, but yeah, so something that gives direct money, not not holding taxes, because this holding isn't very big. Um, so having like the local parliament would be good. So to increase my prestige and taxes. Should be great. This, the library, which unfortunately I can't make because I don't have manorialism. We got the caravanserai would also be very nice. Um, but that's, oh, domain taxes. That is good. Like the domain applies to everything that I own. But it'll give me a health penalty. It's not too bad. Um, or there's the statue of the hero. To give renown, and I feel like I'm gonna have to use renown to do some disinheriting at some point here in the near future. Because I've got too many sons, and my main son is currently a disappointment to the line. He's already a drunkard. Yeah. This is. This is real disappointing, Tolun. I'm going to educate him. I'm going to educate you towards diplomacy or intrigue. Let's go back to diplomacy. Namdar. You're the hope for my line because you're also a genius. You are a disgrace to the line because you're 16, not even of legal age in most countries, and you're already a drunk. Unbelievable. This is, this warrants disinherit. And you. We'll see what you become. I'm not gonna give up on him just yet. But my current heir is not worthy of the realm. I will not entrust my lands and the future of Manichaeanism to a drunk. Not gonna happen. Alright, how's my nephew doing? He'll forgive me. I know I took his kingdom, but it's okay. He'll forgive me. I'm gonna put him on my council as soon as he comes of age. and uh, We'll sort that all out. It'll be fine. Alright, so the land, uh, the, the thing that I want to build. We are going to build a statue of a hero right here. It's not going to give us more money, but it'll give us renown and other things. All right. Uh, we want Ducal Conquests, sure. And uh, how's our befriending going? I, I want to uh, befriend you. 51% chance of success. Nice. Gee has unified. Uh, okay, you want to become my lover, huh? You're beautiful, but you're you're a bit you're a bit old. I'm also old, so never mind. We're of the same age, more or less. Um, but look, you have a husband, All right? How sweet, but no. Um, I tire of all these games. Yeah, no one's gonna seduce me. I'm a devout Manichaean, right? I will not accept any of this seduction. I need to figure out a way to get rid of my stress. Because I have a lot of stress. Uh, it may be pertinent to go on a pilgrimage. Yeah, so like, what, what, do, what do we need here? Um, at least one of these traits, I do. You have a trait from the beautiful character groups and the trait from the physical specimens groups. Hmm. Can't do that. Convert holding to metropolis. That sounds expensive. Found holy order. What do I need for this? Just money? Is that, is that all I need? 
Because that sounds worthy of saving up for. It looks like we meet the prereqs. Yeah, let's let's do that. No more spending money. We're going to found a holy order. That sounds awesome. That'll help us out a lot in the wars. Now, what's often a problem with holy orders is that when you create a holy order, any other state that is of your religion can call that holy order into their wars against people of other religions. Which means if you're playing a Catholic, like everybody and, a, and their dog is going to be calling your holy orders in on their wars, meaning you will probably not get be able to do so yourself. Same same if you're playing the uh, the Ashari Muslims or Orthodox or any of the big religions. But as Manichaeans, we're the only country that practices Manichaeanism. Which means we're going to be the only one that is calling in our holy order. So it's basically going to be our own private religious army, which sounds awesome. Oh boy. I don't want to become a flagellant. This is just going to give me more stress, and I'm already, like, I'm... No, I, but I don't want either of these. I guess we'll just take more stress. I could go on a pilgrimage, but that'll cost money. I could call hunts. That'll cost money. I have a physician, right? Great. <coughs> Sorry. Marriage. So get me an alliance. With Queen Keping. Do it. May have disinherited him, but that's fine. We are now allied to Guiyi. Fantastic. A subject deserves as much study as I can afford. Um, what is this? We're gonna... Okay. Studying how to befriend her handy. You look, you look pretty, uh, grim there. <laughs> Alright, we have a faction created against us, um, which includes Denpo, come on. We were friends. Use a hook. No, oh, we don't even need to use a hook. We're, we're allied, alright? Don't be like that. Great. Marvelous news, indeed. Um, who are you fighting? If you're fighting... Hold on. You're fighting against the, the Duchy of Zanskar. That's down here, I guess. No. Yeah, it is. So you're attacking them? That's interesting. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Alright, our uh, nephew has uh, ascended the throne. He doesn't want an alliance because I declared war on him. I guess that's fair. Tell you what, mate. You are pretty solid. As a counselor, I would like to make you, put you in a position, as my high almoner. Hope that helps. Alright. Time to hit the books. That'll give me stress. Hire a tutor. Might give me more stress. Why bother? Sogdian is clearly superior. Uh, let's do this. Let's, hopefully we don't get stress. I don't really need the prestige. I've got tons of prestige. Which I'm saving for a big, uh, a big kingdom war. Because if we can, like right now they're superior. Um, because they have three allies. But if we can get rid of the, the Shah here somehow. Yeah. But we'll save that for next time. Alright guys. Once again, if you enjoyed this, like the video and, uh... Subscribe, otherwise I'll catch you all next time. Have a good one.